Do you know the origins of humanity on Earth? According to modern scientists, Homo sapiens, ancestors of humans, came to Earth around one lakh years ago. The story of humanity's evolution began about seven million years ago, when the human lineage broke away from that of chimpanzees. Over time, an ensemble cast of over 20 early human species, or hominins, came to the fore. Most became extinct, while others might have been ancestors to today's humans. But, according to Hindu mythology, humans have a much older origins. Well, let's find out, what does Hinduism says about the origins of mankind? In Hinduism, there is one supreme divine god known as Brahman. He created the three gods or the trinity of Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. Brahma is the creator, Vishnu is the preserver, and Shiva is the destroyer. According to the Puranas, Lord Brahma is the creator, and created the whole universe we are currently living in. Lord Brahma created ten Prajapatas, also known as protector of creation. They are, Marichi, Anjaras, Atri, Pulastya, Pulaha, Kratu, Vasishta, Daksha, Briju, and Narada. Now, Kashyapa is the son of Marichi who is the first Prajapati, and his 13 wives and he is regarded as one of the progenitors of humanity. Vivasvanasurya, the sun god, is the son of Kashyapa and Aditi. Vivasvata Manu, is the son of Vivasvan, sun god, and Saranyu, also known as Samchna. He is also known as Satyavarata and Shridadiva. The Ivasvata Manu is the current Manu, the progenitor of the human race in Hindu mythology. He is the seventh of the fourteen Manus of the current Kalpa, Ian, of Hindu cosmology. According to Purana, Manu's story of the great flood occurred before 28 Chattari Yuga in the present Manvantara which is the seventh Manvantara. This amounts to 120 million years ago which means that V. Ivasvata Manu was born 120 million years ago on Earth. But what is Manvantara? Manvantara, in Hindu cosmology, is a cyclic period of time, identifying the duration, reign, or age of a Manu. In each Manvantara, seven rishis, certain deities, and Indra, a Manu, and kings, sons of Manu, are created and perish. Each Manvantara is distinguished by the Manu who rules, reigns over it. Manvantara literally means period of rule, or epoch of a Manu. The concept of time as given in the Puranas is mind-blowing. Each day of Brahma, the creator includes 1000 Mahayugas. Each Mahayuga includes the four well-known Yuga, Kreta Yuga, Treta Yuga, Vipara Yuga, Kali Yuga. This day of Brahma also called Kalpa is divided into 14 Manvantaras, each Manvantara has a little more than 71 Mahayugas. The 14 Manus ruling over these Manvantaras of the present Kalpa are, Svayambhuva, Svarochisa, Uttama, Tamasa, Rayivata, Chaksusa, Vayivasvata, Savani, Daksa Savani, Brahma Savani, Dharma Savani, Rudra Savani, Rusi, Boma. There are a total of 14 Manvantaras, where each is followed by and the first preceded by a Manvantara Sandhya, 15 Sandhyas. With each Sandhya, lasting for 1,728,000 years. During each Manvantara Sandhya, the earth is submerged in water. Are you constantly curious to know about the Hindu mythology and cosmology? Then subscribe to our channel and explore more knowledge.